Well, if you work for the networks uh, as a correspondent, you get trained medically because the insurance companies mandate it. But if you're freelance, and probably 90% of the war reporters are freelance. They don't have regular jobs. They're just over there on their own dime sending work back. Uh, if you're freelance, there's no one there to train you. You actually have to go out and pay for it and get it yourself. And of course, freelancers don't have much money and they're busy and they don't do it. So none of them have been trained, like literally just about none of them. What I wanted to do was start an organization that systematically trained the freelance, the experienced freelance war reporter population, probably about a thousand people, uh, in frontline life-saving combat medicine. And so I re started Reporters Instructed in Saving Colleagues, RISC, R-I-S-C. Uh, we provide a hotel for four days in New York City and a four-day, very intensive four-day training course um, using experienced combat medics and we give everyone a combat medical kit, the kind that soldiers carry. All these people have to do is get to New York and we train them and we send them back out to the front lines. This isn't for journalists who want to be war reporters, these are for people who are already in the field. Uh, we've trained 72 people so far and you know, we got, we got another you know, 900 and whatever to go. They've all said that it's um, incredibly reassuring to have the knowledge and the medical kit. They, it turns them from a, a passive and frightened observer to a participant, to someone who can actually proactively help themselves, help someone else, help a civilian who's wounded. One of the hardest things in war is to see other civilians, locals who are wounded, and you can't help them, children, anybody, and, and you can't help them and you watch them suffer and it's an awful feeling. This training allows the people we train not only to help other fellow journalists who are hurt, but civilians as well. And that's like a really, um, psychologically, that's a really important thing.